everyone thank you very much for coming back to my channel today we're gonna learn how to knit these beautiful Christmas bubbles and um, I have here four of them uh, this one is knitted on the wrong side uh, which shows the glittery uh, yarn better than the other one um, however on this um, on this one that is stocking net stitch on on the right side of the work you can see the increases and the decreases better uh, but um, it looks really cute and um, they'll, they'll be adorable on the Christmas tree um, but uh, yeah if you if you want to learn how to knit one of these then keep on watching so um, what I use is double point needles and these are by knit pro and then I have 100% wool yarn and some um, sparkly yarn which is uh, gold fingering I think something like that it's called I'll link everything down below for you so the first thing we're gonna do um, we're gonna have to cast on and um, we cast on three stitches on each needle and we're gonna work on four needles so uh, this pattern times four and every other row we're going to do uh, two increases except for the third row as you can see here and um, and then we're going to keep knitting and then we're going to do decreases and I'm going to show you here in my book that I've done some um, some more design and um, they look cute uh, but I think that uh, you should start with a plain one and then you're going to learn how to do um, maybe a two color, three color, or like the sheet one that you saw there, I think it's got four color uh, yarn in it. So um, we're going to put the yarn together um, like that. Uh, I usually cast on on two needles so the stitches are a bit looser and easier to work with especially because that first row is always hard to work and uh, I'm just gonna cast on one so that's it's it's hard to cast on with two yarns you know they get caught in between the needles one two three I'm gonna cast all of them on one on these two needles and then I'm gonna split them um, in on four needles that's four stitches five stitches six seven Ten, eleven, twelve, um, and and then I'm going to show you how to split them in between the four needles. And um, this this particular uh, beginning of the bobble is is quite hard to do, and um, you'll you'll struggle a bit with the first row, um, second row, and and then maybe at the third row things are going to get a bit easier. Uh, but here I put three stitches on the first needle, three stitches on the second, um, and then three stitches on the third and leave the last three stitches on the fourth. And uh, then what you want to do, uh, it's uh, knit one round. So this would be like, uh, if you do toe up socks, um, like with a pointed toe, that's how you're going to start, or a, or a hat. Um, from the top down but uh, you're gonna knit the first and the second row and then we're gonna learn how to do increases so I'm just gonna speed this process up because there's nothing in particular other than just knitting 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 so um, after you've done two rows then uh, come back uh, and we're gonna do the increases So 
you finish knitting the first two rows, uh, always use your row counter um, for it. And now we're going to learn how to do an increase. And for uh, row number three and four, we're, gonna, we're only going to increase one on each needle. And um, we're going to start with knit one, knit the second one, and then in between the stitches, we're going to lift the, the yarn up put it on the left needle and we're going to knit it through the back loop and this is an increase that doesn't really leave a hole um, and I really like the way this one looks and then we're going to knit the fourth stitch and we're going to do this all around until we have four stitches on each needle. Here we are on um, on the last needle, I believe it's the la last needle. Um, so when you finish this, the next row you're just going to knit all stitches. So you only increase every other row. After the row with the increases, the following row is just a knit row. So you knit all stitches. Um, here I just need to untangle these threads and I'm going to go with row number four and knit all stitches all around. show you here is that after you finish row number four we're gonna do two increases on each needle until we have 12 stitches uh, on each needle and uh, I'm just gonna speed the whole process and I'm gonna meet you after you've knitted all the rows before the decreases So here I am, I magically finished the, the increases and, um, and now we need to, um, so, so you've, you've knitted the increases and you've knitted the 10 rows, I believe they're 10 rows up and now we're going to start the decrease and these are very simple. I don't complicate things with SSKs, I'm, I just knit two together. Uh, every other row and I I think it looks nice so you always start with the knit one and then we're gonna knit two together and I find it easier to knit through the back loop um, and then knit all stitches until I have three stitches left on the needle so here I have three stitches left on the needle I'm gonna knit two together and then I'm gonna knit the last one I better just grab both yarns and then I'm going to move on to the second needle and I'm going to do the same thing. So 
I'm going to knit one. Then I'm going to knit the next two together through the back loop because I find it easier. Then I'm going to knit the rest of them until the last um, three stitches. Here we go, the last three stitches, knit two together, knit one. And I'm going to do this all around on all four needles. So the next row is going to be knit stitches, then you're going to do another set of decreases uh, and you keep going until you're left with three needles on each stitch, on each needle, sorry, three stitches on each needle. And I finished mine and all I have to do is weave in the ends and, um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So we've got three stitches left on each needle and now, um, now I'm, I'm, I'm just going to leave a lot of yarn, maybe like a meter of yarn uh, attached to my work and then I'm going to cut it there and I'm going to use one of these uh, tapestry needles, um, any needle with, with um, big enough, uh, whatever you call that, uh, that you can put the yarn through would do. Um, and then all I'm going to do is slip all those stitches on the yarn that is left. So you don't, you don't bind off in, for this, you just, um, you just slide your tapestry needle through the stitches like this, on all three, and then pull your double pointed needle out and then pull through your tapestry needle with the yarn and try not to get it all tangled like I did. There you go. Just pull on it so it, it kind of squeezes all those stitches together. Then you're going to go on to the next needle and go through all the stitches. Just make sure you pick both yarns if you're doing with, with um, with two, two color yarns, and just pull it through like that, and we're going to do this on, on, each, on each needle until we get rid of them. Here I'm, I'm taking um, the stitches off the, the last needle um, and I, I just pull the yarn through and you'll see that it closes that, that hole, it, it closes it up and then what you want to do is then keep on doing some stitches in, you know, like you would, you would stitch something uh, until everything is closed. So I go through with my tapestry needle from one side to the other and keep pulling until it squeezes all in. And then you want to 
make a knot so it stays like that. And uh, I usually put my tapestry needle through the loop and then pull and that kind of secures it in. Okay, let's get rid of all these needles out of the way. And, um, and now I'm going to use a crochet hook. Uh, to do a bit of a crochet chain um, so you could so you could hang it on the tree with it and that's the reason why I left a very long tail at the top um, before the before I close the gap so I'm just gonna go in one of these stitches with with my hook and pull the yarn through and then chain uh, I really don't remember how many I chained but just chain as long as you want depending on how how long you want the tail to be um, and when you think you've had enough then we want to close the chain in I'll show you how to do that in a second okay here we go so just close the close the chain in go through another stitch and pull through and then pull through the, the two of them do like a slip stitch and um, and now we're gonna have to stuff it and this is exciting I have no idea why this turned um, into black and white probably my settings but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go with it so a uh, soft toy filling uh, this is what I'm using I think it's 100% polyester you could use wool if you have wool like that but you know it's fine and uh, you, I got this at Hobbycraft and it was a couple of pounds and um, just fluff it up and then through the bottom is where we've started the gas cast on we're just gonna stuff this um, <laughs> this uh, Christmas bubble until it's all round like a bowl so keep going keep going stuff it don't don't be afraid to stuff it with a lot of stuffing just just keep going until y it looks nice and and you think it's round enough and this is mine and now uh, with the tail that we've got from the cast on we're gonna use the tapestry needle again to close in that um, that hole that we put the stuffing through so again I just go through on this side and then pull through and then maybe go a bit further up and on the opposite and pull through and keep going until I close all that gap and I'll show you a cool thing to weave in the ends oh I wish weaving in the ends would be this easy for all my projects but it's cool so you keep going and keep um, you know uh, going through stitches until it looks decent uh, nice and <laughs> And then you want to make um, a knot like we've done at the top. I'm just a bit insisting with the stitching here from what you can see. Here we go, I'm all ready to make the, the knot. And now all you need to do is pull your needle through, bring it on the other side and pull on it like that. And then you cut it and that's it. That end is going to stay inside that filling and it's not going to come out and it's going to be invisible and it's so easy. And we're going to have to do that to the other, to the other end that we have. And then we're done. So do the same put it through cut the yarn and there you go this is it it's all finished and ready to put on the Christmas tree so um, if you like this give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel for more videos uh, I'm gonna have a giveaway soon just a tip uh, but I hope you enjoy it so um, see you in my next one bye